to show you one way to set up a simple sales deferral in Dynamics 365 Business Central. I'll start with a sales order. Into that sales order, I'll include a maintenance item which has attached to it a deferral template. So let's take a look at it. Let's start the sales order. I'll use this client here. And the item I want is the annual maintenance right here. So I'll select that, put a quantity of one in there. The annual amount will be $30,000. Because I've attached a deferral template to this item, that information is automatically filled out for me. So if I go to the line, go to related information, and then deferral schedule, we can see that it's already been filled out. We'll take a look at this a little bit later, but this is the deferral schedule that's filled out for this order already. So I'm going to go ahead and post this. So let's take a look at some of the setup. This is the item I set up. This is a service item. It has attached to it a default template. Let's look at the deferral template itself. If I click into that, I can see I set up a deferral template. I identify the deferral account. This is the balance sheet account in which the deferrals are going to be controlled. You can see other information about the deferral. I've also included a description with the month and the year that will be used for these transactions. So let's take a look at what this looks like in the chart of accounts. If I go into deferred revenue, look at my balances. You can see I've got a declining balance here of my deferral as that deferral gets processed every month. I can click into that. And these are all the transactions that were created for that deferral. And this one here is an earlier deferral that I did. This is the one that we just processed right here. And you can see how it's processed every month going to the end of the term which is a 12 month term ending in July. There's also some nice reporting on this. If I go to the deferral summary for sales, we'll run that. This report will keep track of the different deferrals I have in my system at any specific time. This is December 31st, 2019. And you can see I've got two deferrals. I've got the original deferral amount, the remaining amount, and then the amount that's been recognized so far. So this is a handy report. So keep track of all the deferrals that you enter into the system. It's pretty simple. It's a sales deferral in Dynamics 365 Business Central. I started with a sales order, identified an item that was set up with a deferral ID, and then I processed that sales order and posted it as an invoice. It automatically creates the deferrals for me in my general ledger, and that's it. Mm -hmm.